How's it going, fellas? Back again. Sorry, I'm making kind of some videos rapid fire, but uh, when I'm away at work, can't really make videos. So, just trying to get a few done, get some um, vids out there, get some feedback, see what's going on in the community. Um, so, as promised, second cider, no wax tab. Uh, <clears throat> This would be the apple peach. And this is two parts apple, one part peach. And I know there's one guy out there, Brilliant Man 40, that's part of another community that I'm in the YouTube Pipe Smoking community. And he's kind of interested in um, getting into some home brewing. He's always wanted to try it. So I'm telling you, man, give it a shot, buddy. It's dirt simple. Um, this stuff, your wife will love you. Um, she can drink it with her girlfriends and then she won't bother you about making beer. Um, all you need is you go to your local grocery store and where they have the water filling stations for like the home water coolers, usually there'll be the gallon jugs for filling up water as well, like four liter or one gallon jugs, plastic, buy one of those for like 75 cents, go down to the juice aisle, find some pasteurized, um, no preservative, uh, organic apple juice three liters of that so three boxes three liter or one liter tetra packs and um, get some brewers like uh, dextrose and usually at uh, grocery stores sometimes they'll have like a wine kit and like beer aisle um, I know they do in Canada so they must in the states and you want dextrose because if you use regular you can use regular table sugar but if you do that your carbonation will be loose it won't be tight and so you need the dextrose and uh, three liters of apple juice, 500 grams of uh, brewer's dextrose, dump that into your apple juice, cap it, shake it all up so it's all dissolved properly, and then uncap it, and then get some wine yeast, they'll probably have that there too, the most common brand is Lavalin, and uh, just look for wine yeast or champagne yeast, dump that in there, cap it, shake it all up, and then if you don't want to get a bung and an airlock, you can just twist the cap on till it's on all the way and then just twist it back a little bit and the um, uh, yeast consuming the uh, sugar creating alcohol will create enough gas so that there will be enough pressure that it will be constantly flowing out and air won't be able to get in so it's like your jail airlock basically. So that's all you need, it takes about a week and then you can bottle it and you got some hard cider man so let's get down to it got our apple peach cider review this one's got quite a bit of carbonation smoke coming off of it mm. smells a lot better than the apple guava definitely a lot more clear better carbonation and uh brighter color to it and I think that's the peach coming out the guava was kind of a tangier orange color this is a brighter orange and the carbonation is quite nice it's pretty clear it's it's foggy because of the extra type of juice that I added but Still get that champagne smell because both of them I had to repitch the champagne use. It's a little bit lighter on the champagne. Some BB King Lucille coming at you. Definitely a sweeter note. Not so heavy on the champagne this time. But that's my cider. Um, the next batch is going to look a lot better, I'm thinking. The original gravity, I actually took a picture of it, the original gravity of this cider I'm making now is a 1.079, uh, so it's going to be pretty high, um, which is what I wanted, it was supposed to be hard cider, right, so, uh, I think I'm going to like that big time. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
picture. Can't really. I definitely smell peach over apple, and the other one I could smell the guava, but it makes a strong, strong champagne. So the next one, because it's, I wanted to go straight apple, I think it's gonna taste a little bit different, a little bit sweeter. Definitely has apple taste, and it's gonna be like uh, apple, apple vine, like apple wine or whatever, basically. So other than beer, there's lots of cool stuff out there to make. Hope you guys are having a good new year. Kicking her off with a with a bang. Just a side note about something I really want to do. I want to kick off a contest, but. I need some Canadian brewers to get in on this, and the one guy that I thought that would kind of help me do that isn't really doing that, so maybe you, I want you to help me, <clears throat> and it's for St. Patrick's Day, I'm calling it Luck of the Irish, Luck of the Irish by, and what it's going to be for St. Patrick's Day is a stout mail-in entry. And I'll be giving away some swag, maybe a t-shirt, maybe a hoodie, um, you know, maybe mail back some beer, um, maybe some ingredients or something, maybe I'll order a beer kit and then have that and like some t-shirts and stuff, but um, I just want to get some feedback on that. If you're interested, do you guys think it'll be cool, um, simple, you know, mail-in contest, mail-in a bottle of your stout. Um, I wanted to announce it now because it's right after Christmas and St. Patrick's Day is only like two months away so it kind of gives people their time to recoup from the holidays and finish up whatever they're brewing and if they're wanting to do some stout I'm sure homebrewers love to do stout for or porter even for uh, for St. Patty's to have around um, I'd love to do that so there'll be wicked prizes um, even if you're in the States, I'm sure you can mail it in. And if you're not sure, what the hell, try anyway. Like, what are they going to do to you? Um, so give me some feedback. Uh, spread the word. You know, I don't want, like, 150 entries or anything. But, you know, like, 10 entries or something. If I got 10 guys on board that thought it would be a cool idea, you know, you win a T-shirt, um, maybe some magazines, um, and, a, and a beer kit, like a Brewer's Best beer kit, a premium one that's got some grains, so you'd do like a mini mash or something. So it'd be a pretty good prize. But uh, anyway, um, that's it for tonight. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Think about it. Luck of the Irish by for St. Patty's. Stout meal and entry. All right. Let's get down to it.